Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. I just like to do a very brief update video on a couple of pieces of new functionality that have gone into Live Stacker that weren't available when I did the original video a couple of weeks back now. Um, the first item is you know you can fire up Live Stacker um, in the normal way and you get a window that's part of the K Stars process. If, however, you go to um, the fit section of the options and if you select this new option live stacker own process then when you launch the uh, live stacking window it will fire up as a separate process so functionality should be uh, the same the difference is that if this process if uh, the live stacker functionality has a problem and crashes and hopefully it won't do that too much but it is beta software so it might do if it does it will only take it take um, its own process space down it won't uh, take anything else down so if you run it as its own process then um, it won't stop uh, the rest of the K stars and ECOS functionality so um, you know you might want to run it as its own process for a you know a few sessions until you get comfortable with it or you might just want to run it um, in the original way but you now have the choice to do that um, the second piece of functionality um, is to do with being able to stack calibration frames both darks and flats so um, in the past, um, obviously, you could stack light and you could calibrate them with a master dark, you know, and or a master flat. Uh, now you can actually create those um, master files with the live stacker. So I'll just quickly demonstrate how you might want to do that. Um, so uh, let's see. So I've got some uh, two second um, dark uh, subs which I've um, created before. What you'll want to do um, is set the alignment method to none. Obviously, you you know, there won't be any stars to uh, uh, use for alignment with a calibration frame. So make sure you set that to none. Um, I would also make sure that you don't downscale. So if typically when you're stacking lights, you do want to downscale, that's fine. But when you're creating the uh, the master files, um, just set that to none. Um, obviously, the rest of these you could, well, I would recommend leaving them as they are. So um, you could put um, Sigma clipping on if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to now. In terms of weighting, um, you need equal weight. So both the HFR and the num stars require stars and obviously in calibration frames you don't have those so just make sure you've got the frame weighting on uh, on equal um, and other than that I would just hit to uh, hit go and wait for it to uh, to run through um, when you get the uh, the the output you can then save it uh, as a uh, as a master file so here we are so it's done the uh, those two second darks so if i save this as master dark two seconds just replace that file so let's save that one off uh, what i could do now is i could stack my flats and uh, what I'll do is I'll calibrate the flat with the master dark I'd just done. Master dark, uh, two seconds. And again, you want to make sure that you're not downscaling and that you have the alignment method set to none um, and the frame weight to equal. And uh, off it goes. So, what that will do um, is it will produce a, a master flat that is um, dark subtracted. Uh, so there we are. Um, so once again, I can save that. And I'll call that 
by master flat so then when I come back to doing lights um, I can okay let's just try this um, so if I was to just stack these oops, that's not going to work because I didn't put um, uh, an alignment method of plate solve in so just make sure you don't make the mistake I've just made um, so we'll let those run through and here's my M3 so if I zoom in on it so it's not too bad now as you can see I've got some vignetting around here um, on my light so if I put in this time the calibration frame uh, that I uh, just done so my master flat um, I could put a dot a master dock in here but I haven't got any to hand so um, I won't do that but obviously in principle uh, you could so methods back to plate solve, um, not using anything particularly fancy. If I just rerun the stack, um, hopefully you'll see this vignetting is improved a bit. I don't think these flats are particularly good actually for this um, these lights, so it's probably not going to be great. But uh, yeah, they're a bit overcompensating. As I say, they're not they're not great flats, but I think you can see the principle of. Um, what this is trying to uh, to do um, so oh just one other very quick thing uh, one of the other developers uh, very kindly added a little tweak here so um, the tab name uh, gives you also gives you the uh, the number of subs that it's uh, that it's actually stacked and obviously as you sort of increment that 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 number will increment but you can also, if you right click on this, you can get to edit it. So as opposed to having a very long and, you know, probably inconvenient name, if you wanted to call this, I don't know, M3, for example, um, and you can give it a nice nickname and keep the tab names quite, uh, quite small. So it's quite useful if you like to, or if you wanted to use this where you had um, several tabs, each stacking different things within one fits viewer. Um, you know if you've got very long names here it becomes a bit clumsy um, but uh, with this feature that uh, has been put in by one of the other developers uh, obviously you can give them all a, a relevant nickname so that's it I hope, uh, hope you find that useful and as I say this should drop um, with the uh, new release of K-Stars in the next few days <laughs>